Okay, I thought I'd do a quick guide for how to farm on Dynasty Warriors 9. Now the first thing you're going to need is fish bait. So I'm going to go through uh, all the ways you can get it. Basically, uh, you're going to be farming a lot here for the Yibikyans, which is one of the, uh, the best of the rare currencies that you can get, simply because it gives you the scrolls for the ultimate weapons, or at least the ultimate weapons in the game now. I'm sure if they... Uh, expand on this game, they'll probably have better ones because some of the stats are actually pretty weak. They all have a lot of defense, uh, the attack is mostly what varies the most. So you're gonna want to use fish bait, and if you use ultimate bait, it doesn't seem like you can actually get the, uh, the gold drops. So what you do is you go to Guangling. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here, so in the kind of like in the lower-ish right-hand corner of the map, you go here, and then you go to the port. So gold, so gold Gibikin is the, uh, or Kian, or I don't know how to pronounce it. That, that's the rare drop. You also get a lot of these broken urns too, which will, will add up. You're going to need hundreds of these things at some point. <laughs> uh, you want to see how many I farmed? I have a whopping 41% attack speed because I farmed uh, five of these this morning. Now I don't know if that's the ideal build, but uh, that basically gives you a good impression of how broken this is. So go ahead and look at my uh, Yibikyans right now. Uh, it's the third currency, the kind of oval-shaped one. I have 42 right now. You can get quite a few on each fish, each fishing attempt. That's 12 right there, and that was with a bunch of junk drops, too. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next place now. Alright, so if you want the first currency, which actually does have quite a bit of uses in terms of getting accessories and gems, uh, you want to go to Guangling's Northern Camp. So as usual, go over to the body of water. check the total right now. Right now I have 39. Ah, so this is actually a pretty good spot because you actually do get some circlets from here as well. So these sell for a couple thousand, but alternatively you can just go to uh, Luoyang, which is one of the central towns you'll be using, at least if you start with uh, the Wu Kingdom, because it has all the uh, facilities. So you just go over here to the moat, conveniently it's, it's pretty close to the, uh, the NPCs as well, you just turn around from the fast travel point and then run through this alleyway. And you just come over here. I think you can switch to uh, ultimate bait for this one.
So all you'll get from the moat if you use ultimate bait is stuff that you can sell. Those gorgeous saddles are worth like a ridiculous amount of money. Far better than any other method that I've found. So I just got one of these, which is a uh, 7500. So I think one of those saddles I had before, but that was like 10,000 for a couple seconds of just standing there. So that's uh, most of the materials. That's uh, money and two of the currencies. Uh, from the Japanese wiki, apparently to the west side of Lake Tai Island, you can get the Daobi. Uh You would do it by the same method, which is uh, use the fish bait, not the ultimate bait. And then just camp there, and you can get as many as you want. And the final currency, uh, I'm not exactly sure where to get that. But uh, I will definitely update when I find it. Alternatively, uh, you can also fight the bandits. The bandits are in this area. So east of, of Poyang, around here. East of Poyang and southeast of Nuju. So I have a way mark over here because I was farming earlier. Now you'll need some exploding arrows uh, if you want to do this stealthily. Uh, it's up to you. I only have a couple left. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a paste bin of where you can get certain materials to craft items. I want, I want to try to keep the video a little bit short. So I'll enclose some screenshots and a paste bin so that you guys can find them. Uh, there are villages where you can buy a lot of the materials you'll need to craft weapons. So if you don't want to go around and farm the clusters, that's actually the fastest way to do it. Since you're going to be getting uh, a ridiculous amount of money from doing this in the first place, you might as well just straight up buy them instead of bother with the clusters, unless they're on the way to another objective. So, I'm going to go ahead and travel over there. Now, they will not always drop the coins. Uh, sometimes they'll drop the books. It, it says that the books have no use. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they give them a use later on or something, but for now you can sell them for a few thousand, so you get a pretty decent amount of money. So even if they don't drop the rare coins, uh, you'll at least make some money and some experience doing this. Now it's random where they where they be. Like right now it's spawning a bunch of the tigers and stuff, which is useless. But if you want to farm hunting points, you can actually uh, do it pretty easily. Uh, you would have to find higher level ones than this. Uh, you notice I have like almost 30,000 hunting points. <laughs> uh, you get ranked for your hunting points depending on uh, how few attacks it takes them to kill you. I think it's it also scales with like how much damage you take as well. Basically I found like a level 85 tiger and I just shot him in the back. Like, <laughs> with like a dozen, two dozen or so poison arrows. I took no damage and since the AI in this game is not going to win any awards, he didn't come over and attack me. It gave me so many points because he was like double my level, pretty much close to the cap. And uh, I didn't get damaged, so. Pretty much we'll do it like this. So it doesn't actually matter uh, which enemy it is or, or animal, uh, as long as you just stealthily kill them, uh, you can use like the poison arrows, then uh, you'll get a bunch of points. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out for a bit until I find some bandits. Hold on. Alright, so after a little bit I got the bandits to spawn. Uh, it is random, sometimes you'll get the tigers instead. But basically, if you have exploding arrows and you aim into a group, you can kill them instantly. Like that. And if you have your gold crown on, then uh, it will just attract the loot to you. So that time all I got is one of those books, but the books actually do sell for quite a bit. And what you can do, uh, I have a bunch of fun stuff on right now. What you can do is you can stack the drop rate. Or the item drop rate.
Now, in terms of uh, if you do get seen, uh, you're definitely going to want to spec in counter damage because counters are probably going to be able to stagger them consistently, especially if you're under level. Like with Ling Tong, I haven't spent as much time with him since, uh, you know, the way this game's story works is uh, sometimes the characters that are alive for like decades, you, you still can't like play as them for whatever reason. So with him, uh, right now I have 25% counter damage. Uh, right now I'm running an attack speed build, but I also do have a bunch of other ones that increase counter damage. So I should be able to take them either way, but in general uh, you'll want to counter and special attack damage if possible. Uh, right now I have mostly attack speed and muso attack damage, so that will take them out pretty quickly as well. You just have to be willing to pop some uh, muso pills. Now if you're farming money uh, with this other method that I've have uh, been demonstrating this whole video and you'll have tons of money you'll be able to just buy a bunch of spirit potions anyway so if you want to run something like a wind build then you could just spam muso and they'll die pretty quickly so in the event that you get seen I thought I would show uh, how a battle will go Sometimes the, uh, the counter in this just like doesn't work, <laughs> or the execution. It's pretty annoying. But since you're going to be uh, stacking a bunch of uh, items and stuff, it won't really matter too much. So I got a gold coin from that. Uh, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, sometimes you'll come across one of the bandit chiefs, one of the head chiefs, and they can be a little harder to take down, but it's basically the same thing. And if you can group them together, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to fish for a counter, which will help you to kind of get in, so to speak. <laughs> Now I am 10 levels under these guys, which means that uh, they're not going to stagger too easily. But they don't stagger too easily to begin with, so it doesn't make much of a difference. So you can get the uh, the final currency, the Huangkians, from here as well. 
So ideally you want to fight these because you can get a variety of gear or currencies. But fishing is definitely the fastest way and obviously it doesn't really require any combat. I'll take this guy out and uh, that's basically the gist of it. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys uh, farm a lot of the currencies and items in the game. If obviously, I have like pretty much most of the best stuff in the game, except for the characters that I don't play. But I have most of the good accessories and stuff. This is definitely the best way to do it. If you want to just easily get to a town that has the uh, all the facilities, you just go to Luoyang, since you're going to be going there for to farm money anyway. Well, the coin collector will be right here at the fast travel points. So, in terms of the best things to buy, uh, if you want to run an air dash build or you just want to make yourself invincible more often, it's definitely worth getting the Pleiades clasps because they'll have a proc chance to where you won't uh, use any stamina when you dash. So that means uh, when you evade on the ground or in the air. Increasing the health gauge can be nice. The gems are really good. Uh, fire gems have attack percentages uh, buffs on them, so that's one of the better things you can get. Honestly, since you're going to be uh, farming these pretty easily, there's no real point in getting the other ones. I definitely recommend just saving up the 100 to get uh, the best ones. For Dalby, uh, you get all the weapons, obviously. And since you're going to be getting these uh, coins like candy, you can pretty much just get every single one. Black Tortoise Gems have defense on them. I haven't messed with uh, ice too much, but that's basically what it will have on it. There's a bunch of attack ones in here. Uh, if you want to run a wind build, then uh, you could probably would stack like two of these because it'll give you Muso back really often if you don't want to go with just popping the pills method. Uh, what this does is it basically makes it so you can jump cancel at any time. Obviously everyone has a universal jump cancel in this game, but there are certain animations you can't jump cancel out of. This will make it so that you can jump cancel even before something comes out. So if you really want a, a mobile character, then uh, this is definitely a best one of the best items to get. And it's only 15 coins too. Now honestly these ones where you don't flinch, it's best to just get the Heaven and Earth Gauntlets because basically that'll just make it so you have hyper armor while you're doing any kind of attack. And these are nice. Uh, these give you extra air dashes. Uh, it, it's fun to mess around with air combos and stuff, but this also has some good uh, practical use for the exp uh, the exploration and traversal part of the game. Uh, sometimes you'll come across like walls that are too high for you to jump over and you can't use a grappling hook. So what you can do is you can get a, a higher vantage point and you can air dash like three or four times and clear it that way. So I definitely recommend getting one of these. Uh, two of them is, is honestly overkill since you only have four accessory slots. The rest of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. just depends on what you want to run. Wind has attack speed and Muso uh, damage up. So if you want to run a Muso build and you want to be fast, then that's definitely one of the better ones to get. Uh, Chio is slashing attacks. I don't know what slash does in this game. It doesn't seem to do much, honestly. So it's up to you if you want to spec in that. I haven't messed around with it much. Obviously there's not really a whole lot of uh, research or information about the game yet. Lightning increases your Muso, and Poison is pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, if you want to buy something, uh, you should definitely keep in mind that the, the gems, uh, what they have on them, it's completely random or RNG. So say I want to get one of these White Tiger gems. What you do is you stand in front of the, the coin NPC, you save, and you go ahead and you buy the gem. Now this one is actually pretty good. This is one I'd probably keep, but I think the max you can get is uh, 6 or 7 percent or 7 seconds on the, uh, the first affix or first ability. So you back out, you quit. 
Now, obviously, I'm on the PC version. I don't know how much, how long it takes to load on the PS4 version, but this is definitely better than than doing more fishing. The fishing is pretty mind-numbing. <laughs> so you have your currency back, and there you go. It's a completely different gem. Uh, this one's kind of decent, but not that great either. So it would just reset again. Now, if you want to automate the fishing uh, even more, uh, what you can do is you can use a turbo controller, or you can use like a macro program. You can use Steam Big Picture Mode. Uh, I have to warn you, I had some issues with that. It took me like an hour to get the game working after I tried doing it that way. So I would recommend something like Joy to Key. Uh, Joy to Key is completely free, or you can use X Powder or something, and just map the the square button or the X button or whatever your equivalent is for the basic attack or flow attack. You can just map it to turbo, and then whenever you hear the fish in the water, you just hold the button down. So that way, if you have a second monitor, or you're working on something, or you're watching something, you don't even have to watch the screen. <laughs> I, I was watching a Dragon Ball Fighters tournament uh, doing the exact same thing. So uh, that's definitely the best way to farm most of the currencies in the game. I don't know where to get the Dalby, but like I said, I'll go ahead and I'll post it in the description uh, what they found on the Japanese wiki. So you can go ahead and use that. Uh, once I get to that location, I'll definitely let you guys know. But yeah, there's your guide. I hope it helps. this helps uh, all new Dynasty Warriors 9 players. Peace.